Hi guys, so welcome, welcome back. We are jumping into Heavenly Delusion. Um, it is episode 12 called Outside of the Outside. That is a very key title in my opinion since I feel like this has been the motif throughout the entire season so far. It's this idea of outside the outside, what does this mean, yada yada yada. And this is episode 12. We have one more episode after this, episode 13. So in the previous episode, we got to see that um, Tokyo had twins. Um, they shut down the system, I believe. Ah, and ooh, we got to see what that one young girl is capable of, which I believe she was the Hiruko, um, underneath the building and all that stuff. It was pretty crazy. So, guys, let's just jump into episode 12. Let's see what goes down in this. I think it's about to be pretty, pretty crazy. So, let's go. Right now, her just standing there with no. This looks really weird. Kona's not there either. Wait, did this happen before? I had it cut yesterday. Today is Friday, 10. How is it always 10 18th, July 26? How is that constantly. The same day as in my dream. <gasps> oh! Whoa, what's wrong with these little girls? These little kids. Man, why are these little, these little kids are like... Are they looking at, at um... What was her name? Asura? I don't know. Because I think Asura's still up there, bro. Oh my gosh. Well, look at these things that we thought were birds and they're probably not birds. <gasps> yes, I forgot about that. We saw Robin in the factory. <laughs> Boy's being led by his nose. Oh, wow. That's a market. That's wild. Because there's a factory, I guess? Oh. Okay, a Robin is behind this, isn't he? I think Robin is behind this little settlement. I don't know. <laughs> Bro, you are 15. Don't take notice of the different colors. Y'all made different colors, but you're saying not to take notice of them. That is sketchy. Those things look like puzzle pieces. Like you put them together and something's supposed to happen. Notice those little things kind of look like, like wires. Like, you know, like the way that like things connect and nah, nah, they're all the same. <gasps> you do. You actually do. So what happened? 
Do you mind calling to ask? So he, okay, so they're admitting that he's here or calling to ask if he's here? Please tell the chief he has a guest. See the chief. Please tell the chief. So he is here. I made an appointment for you. I'm scared though. I'm scared for you. Bruh. Oh, I don't want you to go alone though. That's I'm scared. I'm scared. I don't want I don't want I don't want I don't want you to go alone. The way they're doing this, I just know it's it's oh I don't know. I don't know about you, Robin. Oh my god, I feel like they're just gonna crush your dreams! Ah, they're really making this so romantic, bro. I know it's more than romance, but it just seems like it. It's like, damn. I'm scared. I'm so scared. Oh my god. The hair became black. See, like, you're supposed to be dead. Yo, Robin's reaction is like, I killed you. What are you doing here? I'm telling you, bro. Wild. Where's Kona in all this? There's just something about the fact that we haven't seen him this whole time that's bugging me. Oh, okay. Why would that be the safest spot? I thought the complete opposite. I was like, that's water? If anything fell on top of you, you're drowning. Oh, she's the only one that was able to see Asura. Maybe she wants to go see it. Oh. Okay. To the hole? Alright. I don't know about the pool, bro. Yeah, something is definitely blowing up the outside of the walls. Why were you faking the wheelchair thing? And does it matter which is which? That means they're both... Okay, so they're both males. That already says, okay, brother, brother. Have you been doing something different to either one, I guess? Because, like, what would it matter? Mm, no, I'm scared. Oh! Okay, hold on. Maybe I overreacted. They thought that shh. They thought that Kiriko, right? Was. No, they didn't think Kiriko was dead. No, in fact, it was only Haruki that they assumed was dead because, yeah, Kiriko they thought was alive still. He's shocked to see Kiriko because he probably thought she would be dead. Well, say something that only you would know, maybe. Well, then it's believable, I guess. Bro, nah, I'm not, I'm not doing too much by completely sketching out this dude, right? Like, I'm not doing the most, like, come on now, please. What's with this tomato? Yo, it's super sus. Why does he want you to shower so badly? Like, I don't get it. 
Like that was that's so random. Like here, go go take a shower first. Go go. What we're talking like. I feel so bad for you because, like, honestly, yeah, he seems super amazing, but I am not trusting. I'm not trusting. I hope I'm wrong. I'm so worried for you. I am so worried for you. Oh, you see what they're showing us? Like, what? Will she be okay with that? Bro. I think he's gonna go. I feel like Maru's gonna. I think Maru's gonna save your life. <gasps> Sus! No, Robin, don't do what I think you're trying to do. Stop it, stop it, stop it, stop it. Alright, he's walking around. Now he's got his pen. Kiriko. I s oh, yo, the suspense of what they're doing right now. Happy, I picked you both up. I picked you both up. Why is that? Is it another one? Are they outside or is it another one? Oh, okay. Yo, this is giving Promise Neverland for real. <laughs> oh, when you show how she died, this really is crazy. Seeing the sky, oh my god. <laughs> yeah, 15 little, 15 year old little boy. <laughs> ah, damn, you tied up. Look, I just knew you were bad news. I actually knew. Uh, okay. <sighs> okay. 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 I wonder, was he like this with Kiriko? Was, I, that was her name? Hey, what is your deal, dude? For real. He has, like, issues for real. Like, it, it's not even... Oh my god! I really thought it would stop before that happened. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. Oh my gosh, yo. Oh, that hit me wrong. As it should, I mean. There's so much that took into play right here. He was literally mentally effing with Haruki so bad by making Haruki look at himself at this time. And, and like, being dysphoric with like him in that body, but then looking and it's the sister. It's, that's a total mental mental effery that's happening in a moment where he's overwhelmed by not only being tied up by someone he trusted, but Robin. There's an automatic disposition that Haruki has towards Robin, which is that Robin is my hero. He's, there's no way he's doing something vile or evil. It's even though he knows that he could know this is bad, it, it's Robin that already diminishes how he's perceiving the situation. Like, he's not doing anything, like, wrong to me. Like, I'm confused, but it's Robin. And he's looking, and it's like, look, this is your sister. Like, my sister. Wait, my, that's me. And it's like a whole... Ugh. And we already know how Haruki felt about the sister. He was attracted to her and interested in her. And, like, yeah, not, not actually sister, by the way, from what I understand. <laughs> so... Kind of like also being told to look in the mirror and see the sister. 
and how she's going to be held, which is something that I guess arouses Haruki as well. And then it's Robin, which he actually likes Robin. Uh, that's that's a whole that's next level. That's so next level. And it makes it completely understandable how stunted he is. Haruki not being able to do anything in this situation. Just complete, like... Oh my gosh. Now my question is, why is Robin doing this? Part of me is like, okay, so did was Robin, like, disgustingly doing stuff like this to Kiriki since... Kiriki. Kiriko since before? Was Robin always interested in Kiriko since before? Was he interested in Haruki? Uh, like, uh, I don't know. It's just that he... Yo, and he made sure... He made sure Haruki took a bath for that. <sighs> like, I knew it and I was scared the whole time. But I thought he would try to kill her. I didn't think... I thought he would try to kill Haruki. I didn't think he would do this. But the moment he said, come outside just like that... Actually, the moment... He put her in the bath to go take a take a bath. I was like, wait, why is he trying to get her naked, bro? So I was a little worried, but then he walked away. So I was like, okay, so he's not doing anything while Haruki's in the bath. But the moment he's like, oh, come out just like that, I'm like, oh my gosh. Oh, that was so disturbing, guys. That was really disturbing to watch. The show overall is like just a disturbing mess, but it's like not a mess though. It's actually really well written and really just crazy. It's It's quite a crazy story. Oh, that was so disturbing. Oh, I don't like that. Yo, Haruki can actually get pregnant too. <laughs> oh my god, that, that messed me up how that ended. Oh my god, okay, I'm gonna go into... I'm, I'm just gonna go straight into my love story with Yamada Kun, okay? We have good guys there. We have good guys there. I'll end it here, guys. Thanks so much for watching. Leave your thoughts down below. No spoilers, and I'll see you guys in my next video. So thank you, and bye!